So tomorrow season four launches and in preparation of that today, I want to run down everything you need to know ahead of season four in Modern Warfare 2, Warzone and DMCs. As we go along, drop your thoughts on what you think of the content itself, untethered to the current climate of the game. Do you like the maps, modes, weapons and all on offer? Does it look good to you? Maybe not so much. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay the day with all the coverage here for season four and beyond, as well as other FPS titles here upcoming. I'd love to have in the community. And finally, check out my friends over at G Fuel for 30% off certain items like hype sauce tubs in the month of June, but more on that a little later. For now, let's jump into it. So first and foremost, the biggest thing here in regards to what you need to know if you want to jump in and play it is, well, when does it launch? Modern Warfare 2 Season 4 kicks off at 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Depending on even when you end up watching that, might even be today, depending on if it is something that crosses that midnight threshold for you whenever you watch it. But it also is 12 p.m. Eastern, that being noon, 5 p.m. in the UK, and then elsewhere denoted on screen for you guys with our sort of handy dandy time chart of conversions for all those different time zones around the world. You may very well not be in the United States and the UK. You could be Australia, New Zealand, wherever you may be. So hopefully that conversion can help you out a little bit. To my knowledge, I don't think that anything's been said in regards to a preload just yet. That could be something that still is upcoming here. And oftentimes in recent history, it's something that's PlayStation exclusive only. And as the time of recording this early in the afternoon, by comparison to when this goes up, it is still something that that preload is not available even on PlayStation. So keep an eye out. That's something that they've actually really been quiet on the last couple of seasons. They haven't said anything until basically it comes out. So that's something to be aware of. But beyond that, we have a decent bit of content offering across multiplayer, Warzone, DMZ, all of what you have on offer for Modern Warfare 2 is sort of whole expansive universe, if you want to call it that. For multiplayer, one of the big things here that in terms of functionality is the new weapons of the Tempest Razorback and ISO 45 coming along in the Battle Pass. Now, we'll also see the Tonfa melee weapon, but that's something that it'll tie back into the seasonal event here, which we'll touch on in just a second, but that's something that's going to be coming along in the release window, not necessarily at launch. But then we also, in season, not necessarily at launch once again, we'll have an unspecified shotgun. So just bear in mind that these two weapons are the only things we get immediately, but they're not the only things we'll see throughout the rest of the season. Now, the Tempest Razorback and the ISO 45 actually ended up getting a little bit of hands-on time with it to give you a relative understanding of some basics with it. They weren't terrible weapons. I'm curious to see how they end up playing in the Warzone meta. Anything really can go in the Modern Warfare 2 sort of air quote meta because everything is just so fast to kill. The Tempest Razorback is going to be one that is, I think, kind of compared comparable to the FFAR from Black Ops Cold War. It's a rifle that ends up having that ability that you can use it in SMG territory. And in regards to, say, Warzone, I think that it might be a viable candidate here for a sniper support weapon. If you want to take something that can get the job done in close quarters and medium range, it'll kind of taper off for that long range, but that's where you can end up taking a sniper to counteract that. The ISO 45 was almost exactly to what you may remember from Modern Warfare 2019, so it is very similar here in that regard. And then the Tonfa didn't get around to playing with that, but it's a melee weapon. Then when it comes to Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer content, we have Showdown and Kunstanar District as the 6v6 maps here. Gunfight, we have Mercado and Penthouse coming. And Battle Maps, we see Marshlands as well as Akdar Village coming. We'll also end up seeing Vondel Waterfront coming at mid-season here, so that'll be the next and third map we end up seeing for 6v6. Doesn't say anything about Gunfight or Groundwork getting additional maps, but that is something that, while it is kind of spread out, Seven's a decent number here, I think. I would like to see more in 6v6. I'd like to see maybe one ground war map introduced per season and then throw that developmental time into adding additional 6v6 maps to the rotation. But seven compared to what we've seen the last couple of seasons, again, I wish it wasn't so spread out, but it's definitely better in terms of quantity. Operators, there's a surprising number of them here. We have Nikto as our sort of key figure here, story-wise, and also in that battle pass. He's the main one. Anna Vega is coming as a bundle operator. Io is going to the Black Cell operator. That's something we'll touch on in just a second. And then in season, we also have Izzy and Butch, presumably also another operator for the raid coming at some point. Now, backtracking slightly, touching on Black Cell. Unfortunately, it is returning here with season four. We saw this introduced with season three, where it was a $30 sort of premium bundle for the battle pass. No longer can you end up getting the battle pass in that bundle by just simply using your COD points. It's a real life denomination of currency, which is unfortunate and is incredibly frustrating, but it seems like that is going to be the way forward here going into the future. So do with that information what you will. Battle pass locations were detailed here with this, where you actually will be able to get both of the new weapons immediately with those 20 tier skips you get through Black Cell. Plus there are going to be the blueprint versions of it, so you get some skins along with that. We'll also see this season with Black Cell, new contrails and parachute customization coming along with that, which is 
interesting. I'm curious to see how much that's going to be harped on because that's some stuff that is really minor, but you already know it's going to be added into bundles to inflate that price point a little further. We also, beyond that, we'll see new prestiges and levels to grind out going upwards of level 850 at this point. Myself, got a lot of grinding to do because, well, haven't been too pleased with the game the last couple of months. So I think that I'm still like below 450, two seasons ago, the end of season two. But anyways, we'll get there. Next up, I want to touch on the seasonal event here, that being the Assault on Vondor. And what you'll see on screen is entirely dependent upon if I can get approval to show you it. We usually aren't allowed to showcase menu footage pre-release. And having gone to that capture event earlier last week, I was able to take a look at, at least at that time, what was the Assault on Vondel event. The information should hold up, but again, it just depends on if I can show the images here for you. But anyways, this will be coming with launch. There's new systems in place. Similar to the Trophy Hunt event, you end up having to collect medals, but you don't actually do it by like chasing kills in-game. Instead, this is something that is challenge based where you end up doing challenges to earn medals but on both an individual and community level. There's rewards for fundamental areas of play as well as individual rewards for your account. So for things like those fundamental areas of play, as a community, players will be able to unlock things like the favorite supply boxes, which are your personal supply boxes from Warzone 1, where you can end up going in, dropping in, and finding a random supply box that will give you your weapons of your loadout, not perks, not equipment or anything like that, but your weapons fully kitted as you'd have from a loadout just without that extra utility. But then we also see things like the Tonfa melee weapon is earned communally as well. So that won't be there immediately, but everybody will get it at the same time. Now, beyond that, my personal favorites for the event, there was a Signal 50 blueprint that was sea-themed and a Poseidon design blueprint, as well as there were two camos in the event rewards as well for personal performance, that being the Splatter Tactics camo at 25 medals and the Train Car camo at an unspecified total, likely around 45 to 50 though, because it was going sequentially. So two camos to earn here with that. And at mid-season, while it's not explicitly detailed like the last two seasons were beforehand, I'd imagine we do get more camo challenges like we've seen in the past because those were a hit. I can't imagine they end up taking those out. Really doesn't do anything but hurt the image here of the game if they do take that out. So fingers crossed we see that continue on as well. Now jumping over into Warzone, of course, we have Vondel, the brand new map here. Resurgence Battle Royale coming at launch. That new mode of lockdown coming, I think, two weeks later after launch. So a little bit of time here for that. We put up a video detailing that with some raw gameplay, some of my first initial impressions. Just to reiterate a little bit, just as a recap here, the map itself, I enjoyed. We only had four matches to play though, so really can't give you too accurate of descriptions or anything like that because truthfully, it's still really new to me as well. The gameplay itself is still fundamentally Warzone, so it is something that since this version that we've had since COD Next and November when this launched, it's probably not everybody's cup of tea if it was something you've really enjoyed Warzone 1. Obviously, it's a very fundamentally different game. So yes, the map itself is nice, but you might not enjoy it because it's still this version of Warzone we have right now. In terms of Warzone beyond Vonda, we have additional gameplay changes. 150 HP is coming back here, which is beautiful. That increasing the overall TTK of the game itself, which in my opinion, allows you to have some time to react and shoot back and promotes accurate shooting. Not necessarily just sitting in a corner and hoping somebody goes by you and then before they can even turn around, they're dead. So that's something I'm definitely looking forward to here with this. The dynamic resurgence timer is going to be coming. That going to all resurgence modes, not just Vondel. So that's something that Ashika Island, you can play solo quads if you want. Vondel, you can play solo quads if you want. And you'll have that timer to allow you to come back instead of just being immediately wiped if you die once. Then also Vondel exclusive, we'll see dynamic fog introduced here. That also coming to DMZ as well, which is a nice little transition point here into talking about DMZ. Vondel is going to be available here in DMZ initially as well, where there's going to be max 18 players, so six teams of three that you can end up playing around with. There's a new boss and a new weapons case here, a new signal intelligence contract coming for Vondel in particular. We'll also see that seasonal reset happen where, of course, all your things like your inventory items of your contraband weapons, your insured weapon slots, your keys and stashes, that's all going to be unfortunately wiped out, as well as all of your mission progress as well, because they're going to be making way for new ways to progress through missions introducing a new faction, introducing a bunch of stuff here along with that. We'll see the new forward operating base, new passive missions, a new wallet feature, which is all going to be introduced here at launch as well. And honestly, that wallet feature is the one thing that I've said it before, but it's still to me one of the biggest like question marks for what the future 
could hold. This, of course, going to allow you to take in money with you on infill so you don't start with zero dollars, but instead you can go and immediately buy a self revive. You can go and immediately buy a UAV or something like that. But at the same time, I would love for this to be something that there's out of action rewards like exclusive camos or blueprints that you can end up grinding, exfilling cash, and then earning over time. That I think would be awesome. You give me a camo that's worth $50 million in cash, and I'd absolutely grind that out. You give me a blueprint or something that's the same absolutely the same thing would happen. And also, I think it'd be really cool if like for 100 million, 150, 200 million dollars in game, you could buy like a nuke contract or something like that, similar to what we have for Champions Quest and Battle Royale. Imagine doing that in DMZ where all the bots hard aggro you or something like that. Plus players being able to see where you are on the map at all time, trying to gun you down as well. I think that'd be pretty cool to do, but Anyways, that's just getting ahead of ourselves here and maybe putting expectations a little bit too far out of reach, but that is season four in a nutshell here and everything you need to know from when it launches to all the content introduced. So that said, that is what we're going to call it. Before we wrap everything up though, make sure you check out my friends over at G Fuel again. Code Espresso gets you 20% off your entire order all of the time, but for certain items every single month they set aside, Code Espresso can get you 30% off certain items on top of that initial 20% discount. So things like your Hype Sauce, Hibiscus Tea, MS Melon, those tubs are all 30% off. If you want to try something out for the very first time, you've never tried G Fuel, starter kits are as well 30% off for the month of June. So if you guys would like to learn more, check out the link in the description below. If you guys want to pick something up though, use Code Espresso to save 20 to 30 percent off your entire order but for now that's what we're going to call it let me know your thoughts down below do you like what we'll see with season four here maybe not so much whatever the case drop your thoughts down below but if you enjoyed the video you find it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing so that it all things modern warfare 2 warzone dmz season four and beyond as well as other fps content x defiance open beta is coming out next week so of course we'll keep you up to date with all that kind of stuff as well on top of even other fps titles but if you're interested i'd love to have in the community but for now thanks so much for watching Manas Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.